Hi everybody, my name is Lori Beulah. I am your neighborhood realtor with J. Arnold Real Estate Advisors. And um, a lot of people out there right now are making that decision or have made the decision to purchase a home. And so uh, to you, I say congratulations uh, that you've decided that you are ready to become a homeowner. Um, it's, a, um, it's a very worthy goal. Um, and there's a lot of moving parts. There's a process that goes with it, obviously, but you've made the first step. You've decided that this is what you're going to do. And I applaud you. I have the utmost respect for you. So in this process, uh, there's a lot of moving parts, uh, but the first step is determining that you're ready. The next thing you're going to do is work with the lender to get pre-approved for a mortgage loan. And then once you get pre-approved, then you're ready to start home shopping. Ideally, you're going to home shop with a trusted real estate advisor by your side. And that's where I come in. Um, there are a lot of moving parts, uh, a lot of questions you're going to have. And so that's what I do as your trusted advisor as your realtor is to walk you through the process, answer your questions, and kind of uh, get you ahead of the game so you know what's coming before it comes and to just prepare you for the whole process because it does get a little overwhelming. So after you get pre-approved and uh, we're out home shopping, one of the things that um, you really wanna know beforehand is what location do I want to purchase a home? Some buyers really don't know. They haven't really thought about it. Um, and so some of the things that you can think about or things to consider when you are uh, thinking about a location where you wanna live is um, sometimes people wanna live close to work because they want to shorten their commute. Uh, some people um, rely heavily on their families and so they wanna live close to family members. Um, if you have kids in a school district and you don't want to relocate them or move them from their school, then you want to be in a certain school district. Um, it's important to know your distance um, to shopping and dining if that's important to you. So those are some things that you can use to determine what location you want to purchase in. The next thing that you're going to want to know is um, when we actually start looking at homes, what should you be looking for when we're walking through a home? And especially if you're a first time home buyer, you're gonna be tempted to be really impressed with granite countertops and the nice floors, um, the uh, cabinets, the fresh coat of paint uh, or new carpet. Those kind of things are nice. The light fixtures, there's nothing wrong with that. Those are very nice things to have, but it is also very important to notice what the roof looks like. Um, what is the condition of the windows? Um, what, how old is the furnace or the central air? Does it have central air? Um, is the foundation um, sound? So those are big ticket items that would really be costly if you have to replace them right away. Um, countertops, floors, paint, those are really inexpensive compared to getting a new roof or a new furnace. So I always recommend that we look at the bones of the house and um, I encourage my buyers a lot to uh, look for the bones before you look for the beauty because you could always beautify it but it's the bones that's really important. The next thing you want to look at is what kind of contingencies or concessions will you have in the contract and um, it's good to have though to know that before you even start looking really a contingency is a clause in the contract that allows you to back out of the contract or be released from the contract um, a common contingency is uh, a home inspection so let's just say you're under contract you have your home inspection and there is a major defect in the property that the home inspector finds and the seller is unwilling to repair that, then that is um, 
the contingency says that you then are um, allowed to back out of the pro out of the contract, and that's very common. That's a common contingency. Um, it hasn't happened a lot, but it does happen. And a concession is a clause in the contract where the seller agrees to help you financially by paying a portion or all of your closing costs. And so a common that's a common concession is when we ask the seller to help you with closing costs. And so that way you only really need to come up with your down payment. And that's very common. So um, it's good to know, do you need those contingencies? Most people do get a home inspection. And I recommend that. And so you want to base the contract on um, the outcome of that home inspection and if there's a major defect. And then um, if you do know you need help with your seller's concessions, then I would you know, we know that we're going to put that in the contract. As your realtor, I will let you know um, which contingencies and which concessions we should ask for. Because if we ask for too many, it'll scare the seller and sometimes they'll reject your offer. So we want to be careful about the contingencies and concessions we ask for. The next thing we want to look at is um, some trustworthy professionals to help us get through the process. Obviously, we're going to need a lender. So as your realtor, I can help you find a lender if you don't already have one that you're working with. Um, you're gonna need a trustworthy home inspector. Um, you're gonna possibly need a contractor or a handyman. And so as your realtor, I um, have a, um, you know, I have connections and I have um, those professionals that I work with on a regular basis. Then uh, the next thing you wanna look at is you know, what's the bottom line here? What, how much money are you going to need as you go through this home buying process? Um, obviously, you're going to need your down payment and your down payment could be anywhere from 3% on up, depending on the type of loan that you have. Um, so you're going to need your down payment. You're going to need closing costs unless the seller agrees to help you out with that. Um, you're going to need to pay for your home inspection and you're also going to need to pay for your appraisal. And then obviously you're going to have moving costs. So um, you and I can get together and talk about what that um, amount is going to look like based on the, um, the price of the home that you're purchasing. And then we'll come up with a number that you should have set aside for your home purchase. So uh, I hope that this information was helpful because buying a home is fun, it's exciting, but it's scary and it's overwhelming at the same time. So the more information that you have up front, the less stressful you'll be as we walk through the process. So if you're out there and you have decided that you're ready to become a homeowner, feel free to contact me and I'd be glad to walk you through the process uh, and point you in the right direction. Um, and I'll even do a buyer consult. I've done that where, you know, I'll just have like a, a 30 minute conversation with you, a Zoom call, or we'll meet in person. And I'll give you a lot of the uh, information that we talked about today in detail. And then I also um, host an annual home buying seminar which those are really fun because I give away really great prizes. Um, and I usually have a lender on hand to talk about the, um, the pre-approval process, which is very important for you to know. So thank you so much for listening. I hope this was helpful and I'm looking forward to hearing from you soon so that we can start you out becoming a homeowner. Thank you and have a wonderful day, everybody.